Today is one of my favorite humans' birthdays, Jody. Now, I thought about what to do for Jody's birthday during this time of social distancing, and I thought about how we met doing an adaptation of Howard's End at Remy Bumpo, how we fell in love. One of our favorite friend dates to go on is to go to the Art Institute of Chicago. So I thought, what does our production of Howard's End and the Art Institute have in common? And the answer is John Singer Sargent. If you saw Howard's End, you would recognize this Sargent painting that we featured in the play, and you would also recognize it from the halls of the Art Institute. But I don't want to talk about that painting. Instead, Jody, for your birthday, I am bringing you a mini doc made by me called Heather Geeks Out About Madame X. So. We have to start in the 1880s with an American woman who married a very fancy French banker and popped her way up to Parisian high society with her fabled beauty and famous infidelity. I present to you Virginie Amélie Avignon Gautreau. Isn't she a dish? But in the 1880s, this chick was like Helen of Troy hot. Like Evelyn Nesbitt hot. Olivia Hussey hot. Okay, I'll stop. Kira Knightley. Hey, okay, okay, I'll stop. I promise. So men were obsessed with Virginie especially artists. American painter Edward Simmons said he could not stop stalking her as one does a deer. Gross. But as a side note, when John Singer Sargent finally got her to sit for a painting, I guess she was very distracted by social engagements and whether he had her sitting in the city or in the country, she was totally bored. So while the painting was in progress, both Virginie and Sargent thought it was going to be a masterpiece. But when the painting was unveiled, Paris was très shocked. This is Madame X. And the critics were scandalized. Oh my gosh, this painting is all sexy shoulders, sexy neck, sexy cleavage, skin, skin, skin. But Heather, so many classic paintings are super thirsty. How could Venus of Urbino be okay in 1534? Or Resting Girl be okay in 1751? But Virginie? can't show her shoulders. Look, the critics are completely fine if you want to paint the goddess Venus or any other classic figure looking all the way she's looking. And in the case of Resting Girl, that model is Marie-Louise O'Murphy, King Louis XV's little Irish mistress, so the critics are pretty much fine if your model is a moonlighting prostitute, too. But a lady of society like Virginie? Absolutely not. That's the story as fast as I could tell it. Hope to be living in a world where we can go to the art museum again soon. Happy birthday. <laughs>